Hello, my dear good friend. I am happy to come on your way once again here on Wake Up to Hope. This is another wonderful, beautiful week. God has blessed us. By God's grace, we've ended our 21 days fasting and prayers. And we are preparing to enter into the month of February, the second month in the year 2024. Isn't it a surprise that just a few days ago, we entered into the year 2024, the month of January. And now we are just about entering into the month of February. It tells you that time is not on our side. And therefore, we need to set up and consider our ways and see whether what we are doing is in line with God's purpose and plan for our lives. And that is why we want to stand this week thinking about the wisdom of Proverbs. And that is the topic for the day, the wisdom of Proverbs. It is important as a person, you find something or someone that will give you a good and a godly counsel at all times. Life is about the person who advises you or the person you learn from or the one that inspires you. So let me ask you a question. This year, what is your inspiration? What is motivating you? What is pushing you to do the things you're doing? What kind of companies are you keeping? Which people are you connecting with? And who are you submitting to? And I want you to know that God's word is the ultimate. If there is anything you can rely and depend on, and that is God. So I want to encourage you to take God's word seriously and submit to God's authority. And once you allow God to be God in your life, I can assure you, that your life will never be the same again. So we want to look at the book of Proverbs. Now, the book of Proverbs is a very wonderful book in search that is a book written by somebody that God gave the privilege to explore life in detail. And after gaining all the experiences, he sat down and put this together for his children to learn from his experience. So it's a book for those who wants to be wise, who wants to learn, and who doesn't want to make the mistakes that other people have made over the years. So they learn from the book of Proverbs to know how to craft and design their own lives in the way and manner that will be pleasing to God and also will pave a way for them to, for them to be able to fulfill their purpose and destiny. And I want to read something from the chapter 1, verse 5 to 6. It says, Let the wise listen to these proverbs and become even wiser. Let those with understanding receive guidance by exploring the meaning in these proverbs and parables, the words of the wise and their riddles. So this is the writer saying, it says, when those who are wise, even when they listen to these proverbs, they become more wiser. And also those who have understanding, they will receive guidance. And by so doing, you will explore the meaning of these proverbs and the parables. So it is important to dig deep. And that is one of the things we want to do this way, to dig into proverbs. Why? I want to tell you something about the person behind it. The person called Solomon. And we all know the story of Solomon. God gave him wisdom. And in that, he was able to explore many things. He was able to put to test a lot of things. Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines. He was so wealthy that the very things he did, even in our modern times, if you are quantifying them in in the, in the currencies we have today and based on the economy system we have, still nobody can match up with Solomon. The, it tells you that that man wasn't an ordinary man. God gave him something. And he was able to get deeper into life. And then he came up and said to us, you know, life is full of uncertainties. It's full of things that you cannot understand. And you don't need to worry yourself about many things sometimes you think they are needed. What is important about life is to fear God, is to make sure that you let God be the basis and the foundation for your life. 
And this is a good and a wise counsel that the writer of the book of Proverbs is giving to us. I want you to take your time to think about this and learn from it. But this week, I want you to learn some few things about this book of Proverbs. Five keys that you must know about this wisdom book. It says wisdom begins as we learn to fear the Lord. We must practice wisdom for daily living. The value of wise counsel is priceless. We must know the dangers of foolishness and complacency. Seek wisdom to pursue righteousness and integrity. These are very important. So I am just trying to help you to draw your attention to this important book called the book of Proverbs. Many things are there for you. Take your time. If possible, read a chapter a day before even you jump into any other thing and God will be with you. May God help you and guide you. Now that you are done with fasting and prayers, may you receive counsel from God. May the Lord protect you and your family and make you great in the land of the living, even in Jesus' name. Amen.